For this lesson, we're going to show you how to go from a flat piece of paper like this to a beautifully bound album like this. Okay, we're going to take the die that is um, a Movers and Shapers Sizzix die. I view this like the little black dress. It's a basic basic that you can use with all different things. In this case, we're going to use um, a Movers and Shapers um, window like this. We're going to make our sandwich and we'll roll it through. You'll hear it making a crackling sound, particularly when it gets to the middle. Um, there's a lot more it cuts. And now we have our, our little pop-up window. You can see how, depending on the color that you use, you could end up making this for any season or any occasion. But right now, just for the sake of how do you put this thing together, we're going to use black and white sheets that, so that you'll be able to see how this pretty piano hinge binding comes together. So what you're going to want, in this case I'm using, you need something long and thin. In this case I'm using a barbecue skewer that you can get in the grocery store very cheaply. But you could also use um, a darning needle like this with a thin piece of ribbon or you could use a knitting needle, a crochet hook, you could pick um, a piece of wire, anything that's long and thin. But just, I love these and you can dye the, um, the little bamboo skewers with any kind of ink or dye. So first thing you're going to do is take that piece we cut out and fold it in half along the, um, the fold lines. I like to use a bone folder to help me fold. We're going to do four pages, but this can be expanded to any number that you want. You could make a hundred page album or you could make three pages. It won't matter. After you've folded it, I just go back and tear them through to make sure that they're nicely separated. So now we're ready to stick the album together. Let me show you how it goes. And we fold it one this way, one this way, one this way, one that way, up and down, up and down. So now that's how we're gonna bind it, up and down. So take the pointed end first, stick it into a short one, and then we're gonna go straight into the next. It's easy, I'm showing you black and white so that you can kind of just see how that every other one thing goes. You can watch the skewer kind of piercing through and if you need to kind of twirl it back and forth a little bit, it kind of helps it penetrate the paper. If, if it gets a little bit stuck, you can kind of open the page and that'll help it kind of ease through. Kind of pull the skewer back a little if you need to and in and out, in and out. One side and then the other side and then the other. And the first one is a little bit trickier than the subsequent ones because you don't have a pattern to follow. If you miss one like I just did, just pull it back a little bit. Push it through. That's your first set. Now take another skewer and start again with the short one and then back and forth. And you can see how the folding up and down and back and forth kind of guides you for how you thread your skewer or your needle with some ribbon or your crochet hook or whatever you're using. As long as it's something that's thin and long and kind of smooth, you're in good shape. I love how the pattern looks on the back of this kind of a book. And you just have to be a little bit patient. You just can't get, get yourself too wound up about it back and forth. And it takes a minute and then pretty soon the pattern kind of emerges. I think you can already start to see how pretty this is going to be. 
and I did this for the beach collection. It makes a great beach album, but it's fun to think how you can use the same thing in different ways. I did one like this and used different um, trims and accessories on it and um, using black and white and orange ribbons um, did a Halloween album and you can see how you could do birthday party, you could do um, a wedding album, any number of different kinds of things just by changing the theme and the color. Have fun!